up in Dallas, it was hard, it was really tough. I grew up in Mesquite, Texas to be specific. My mom raised me and my little brother and it was good because it was all three of us together and it's been like that ever since. We have always had like a small circle, small knit family and my grandma and grandpa helped raise us too, so it was really good. It's really football based, so we played football a lot early and that's where a lot of my physicality comes from in basketball, so that helped me out a lot. Going from eighth grade to ninth grade, I went and lived with my trainer the whole summer. And then I came back to school and I was just dominating. And that's when basketball just took off for me. My trainer is kind of like my uncle in a way. Like I view him as my uncle. I view him as my family. I love him. And I just train. When I was little, I trained with him. And then I'd like go play football, go play like either sport like I wanted to. And then when in eighth grade, when I made the change, when I wanted to make the change, I knew I wanted to take it serious. So he took it serious with me. One of my coaches, he knew Coach Wolf and Coach Joyce that was previously here for my freshman year. Um, and they just spoke to each other. I got in contact with Coach Wolf, um, weighed up my options and then pretty much just chose. I had to look on online because I didn't come on an official visit. So um, I had to really choose going through online, um, the website. I asked Hannah Young. We knew of each other, but we didn't really know each other well. Um, so just ask her questions about the campus, how the team was, how she liked it here, um, and then chose from there. Buzz is from Texas, so everybody in Texas knows Buzz. Like, all the high school coaches in Texas say, you want to play for Buzz. Like, they try to send their players to Buzz, but like, Buzz takes certain people. So it's like, when Rock told me that Buzz was like, okay, you could come, like, it's cool. And then he was like, Buzz is just like me, like, I'm good. So I was like, oh, okay, I'm really good. Then if he's just like you, then he's gonna be a father figure to me too. He's really understood my game. I think, um, you know, he plays to my strengths. He, put, he puts me in positions where I can really score or assist my teammates. You know what I mean? I'm comfortable to talk to him, like, up in his office. Like, he doesn't worry me. So to have that point guard relationship with your coach, I think, is really important as well. Also being a captain, I kind of have to relay messages from the team to him and he has to relay messages from his um, perspective to the team. So I think having that relationship with him is really important. He's helped me a lot. He's taught me how to be a man. He's made me mature a whole lot. Coming from Florida, obviously, going to school in Florida two years, there's a lot of stuff going on down there other than basketball. When you come up here, and it's just all about work. You're just in the gym, working all day. He just teaches you a lot of life lessons. And he's taught me a lot on the basketball court and off the basketball court as a man. So he's helped me a lot. I mean, as a freshman, I wasn't really captain, say, but being a point guard, you have to be the captain on the floor. So I think freshman year wasn't as much, but on the court, I did feel like I was. Then sophomore year, I think, was when it, I really took over and, um, you know, put the team under my uh, wing. I just try to go out there and play as hard as possible and try to help my teammates as much as possible win games. And with my effort, I don't want to ever come back into the locker room and say, like, Zach, you didn't play as hard as you could because if that happens, then we're probably going to lose that game or something like that. I want everybody to play as hard as they can, and Buzz does that. He gets the best out of all of us, so he just tries to get all of us to play hard, and I just try to go out and play as hard every second, leave it all on the floor, and then when I'm done, just rest up. You know, we really get on, on and off the court. Um, we have each other's backs, and we just want to win. You know, I don't think um, in the past we've had Every team, and every team member wanting to win. We have a lot of depth this year as well, so whoever comes off the court is the same talent coming in the court, so we're not really losing anything with that. We have to take each game as it comes, we can't look ahead. Um, I think in the past we've also, we've held our heads down on the previous game. We have to just move ahead. If we, if we lose a game, we have to move on to the next game. Um, we can't keep looking back at what just happened. focus on the rim. I don't think about anything else really. I just think about just make these free throws and I don't really look at the score to be honest. Everything just cancels out. I just think about every time I go to the free throw line it's the same. I just try to make both. 
it was just like finish the game out. We're up by 10, finish the game. Let's just do what we keep doing. Let's let's get them in rotation. Let's force, let's put pressure on them. Cause we don't want to ever back into a game. Like that's not our mentality. And when teams do that, we we're we're glad they do that. So we, we just kept on playing our game, just kept on attacking, getting to the free throw line, putting pressure on them, knocking down open shots. And playing defense really got us the win. We played great defense and finished possessions with rebounds. So that's what we really want to do is play defense and finish possessions. When we beat UVA, it was kind of like, okay, we beat them, but like, dang, like, let's go to the next game. Like, let's, let's win some more games. Let's beat Notre Dame, let's beat Georgia Tech. Let's be NC State type stuff like that. So, but it was really good for us to get that win. It was really good for us to get that win for Buzz because we really wanted to do that. And we try so hard for him. We try to play so hard for him and play hard for the school. And that's what we did. So, what ends up happening is this true confidence can only come from your work. And that's why you guys are confident. I can't give that to you. I can't. But you guys have it now because it's coming from our work. You guys earn the right to win. You guys earned the right to win. When, when you are the underdog and you're constantly fighting the champ, at some point, if you keep doing your job, you'll turn into the champ. It's just like everybody's a family here. We've just been working so hard. Like, we work so hard every day. Through the off season, we stay both summer sessions. We go through boot camp, training camp together. And when you just get a win like that, you get wins like that. Every, we take every ACC win like UVA, like we get a win, everybody's celebrating the same way because we know how much work we put in together and we know how much time is spent and how much yelling, how much all kind of stuff that goes into it. And it's just, it's just all poured out. So that's what it is. He just has a special relationship with all of us, so. Oh.